Please do sit down. As Vice-Chancellor of the University, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the ceremony for the Department of Allied Health Professions, Midwifery and Social Work. May I introduce the platform party and welcome on my left, Professor John Senior, the Pro Vice-Chancellor for Research and Enterprise, who will be reading the opening speech. On my right is Mrs. Jackie Kelly, the Dean of the School of Health and Social Work. At the table to my extreme right, is Mrs. Sue Grant, the university's secretary and registrar who carries in the marvelous mace that you see in front of me. And some of you will know that the mace is traditionally used for the protection of the vice chancellor. And uh, Mrs. Grant has reassured me that should it be necessary, she will use it for that purpose. May I, uh, at this point, though, of course, welcome very warmly all our graduates, their relatives and friends to this afternoon's ceremony. We will now proceed with the presentation of awards, and I have pleasure in calling upon Professor John Senior to read the opening speech. Good evening, graduates, and a very warm welcome to you and your families and friends who join us today to celebrate this important milestone. Although this evening is just one moment in time, it is an important one because it marks a transition from one part of your life to another. It is therefore appropriate to acknowledge that your time at the University of Hertfordshire has been just a stepping stone, albeit an important one, in this journey that is life. There are hundreds of anecdotes and adages, quotes and proverbs, which describe the impact of education. But this one, from the philosopher Jiddu Krishnamurti, sums up my sentiments perfectly. There is no end to education. It is not that you read a book, pass an examination, and finish with education. The whole of life, from the moment you are born to the moment that you die, is a process of learning. Here at the University of Hertfordshire, we believe we play a vital role in this process, providing you with all the tools you need to succeed, confidence you need to grow, and support you need to flourish. Your achievements and attributes that we celebrate today are the foundations upon which you will build your future. And you leave this great university as highly employable individuals with a qualification that is recognized nationally and internationally. You will follow in the footsteps of Hertfordshire alumni, making their mark in all areas of life and in all corners of the world. These include Rio Paralympics medal winner David Henson, MBE, chair of HSBC John Simmons, entrepreneur Diana Hodgkins, MBE, and TV names Sanjeev Bhaskar and Kate Bellingham. You are now part of that community, one of 230,000 Hertfordshire alumni, spread over more than 190 countries worldwide, a network that reflects the strength and breadth of our diverse and talented graduates. Your area of study may take you into uh, physiotherapy, midwifery, radiography, paramedic science, or social work. You could save lives, make important discoveries or decisions, teach or support others, or bring more creativity to the world. You should, however, remember the Chinese proverb, teachers open the door, you enter yourself. Whatever your route to entry, you will need courage, perseverance, dedication, and ambition. You may face fear, failure, setbacks, or disappointment, but you will also experience pride, joy, adrenaline, and happiness. And all the while, you will continue to learn, because that is what we have helped you to do. At Hertfordshire, we do not just develop your knowledge and skills in your chosen subject. 
We give you the ability to solve problems and get on with other people and an intellectual depth and adaptability to tackle whatever challenges you encounter. What's more, we give you the appetite to keep on learning. It is this that has earmarked the university as gold in the teaching excellence framework, the highest award for teaching excellence. On top of this, figures show that we are achieving record levels of graduate employment among students six months after they leave us, standing currently at 96.5%. Today you are leaving an institution you can be proud of, just as we are proud of you. So, on behalf of the University of Hertfordshire, please accept my warmest congratulations on your outstanding achievements. Life is a journey, not a destination, and education and learning are instrumental to enjoying the trip. So to finish, graduates, you did it. You're all fantastic. My very best wishes for you for the next stage in your journey. Thank you. We shall now receive the graduates of the Depar Department of Allied Health Professions, Midwifery and Social Work. Graduates are presented by a member of academic staff from their school or department, and I first call upon Professor Karen Beaton. Department of Allied Health Professions, Midwifery and Social Work. Master of Science degree in Advanced Paramedic Practice, Critical Care, Louise Sarah Rosson. <laughs> Carl Smith. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Advanced Physiotherapy, with distinction, Francesca Alice Howes. <laughs> Rosanna Elizabeth Hutchings. <laughs> Jodie Marie Spiru. Master of Science degree in Midwifery and Women's Health, with distinction, Janine Ray Kettle. <laughs> Teresa Susan McCarthy. Master of Midwifery, Mary Kemi Arroway. <laughs> Kenesha Joanna Baptiste. <laughs> Mary Monica Pauline Sheehan. Master of Science degree in Social Work, with distinction and winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Christopher Abiodun Adebumagan. With distinction, Rihanna Katoon Ahad. <laughs> Balani Janet Akawalan. <laughs> Martha Ezimwani Chima Alanimi.
Pei Lauren Arlen. John Asiamar. With distinction, Gloria Eanor Boafu. With distinction, Mercy David. With distinction, Barbara Duca. With distinction, Olivia Jane Dunkley. With distinction, Matilda Eamon Agisi Semwin. Caroline Wangui Gitai. <laughs> Chantel Veronica Green Swaby. <laughs> With distinction, Faustina Hughes. With distinction, Anne Kakunga. <laughs> With distinction, Joanita Andrea Cato. Anna Lee. <laughs> Tanya Wadza, Beatrice Muanganitsi. <laughs> Rumbitsai Pamela Mavanduke. With distinction, Portia Mensa Bonsu. <laughs> With distinction, Zanges Manjo Malambo. <laughs> With distinction, Elizabeth Mimi Monacana. With distinction and winner of a university prize, Kennedy Mapomba. <laughs> Nettie Rambidzai Mazuka Kinson. Irene Eve Nalika. <laughs> With distinction, Chimwemwi Mary Nkoma. <laughs> Janet Okra. With distinction, Oyemwen Loretta Omura Giawa. <laughs> With, 
With distinction, Emma Jane Penn. <laughs> Melissa Justine Phillips. With distinction. With distinction and winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Stacey Quirk. With distinction, Rebecca Candice Rayburn. Tawanda Eliot Recepe. <laughs> Adekone Yemesi Salami. <laughs> Alessandra Isabel Jue Sekwe. With distinction, Keith Walter Sabanda. <laughs> Michelle Veronica Smith. With distinction, Emily Lily Taylor. <laughs> With distinction, Rosemary Basid Williams. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Applied Social Studies, Pamura Matisha. Bachelor of Science degree in pre-registration midwifery. Winner of a university prize, Tamara Marianne Na Adobia Adu. <laughs> Faria Mohammed Aden. With first class honours, Jane Sally Ashwell Carter. With first class honours, Georgia Emily Barrington. With first class honours, Heather Marie Barton. With first class honours, Catherine Ann Bell. <laughs> Tawunda Bavumbarai. <laughs> With first class honours, Madison Jane Carter. With first class honours, Irana May Coleman. With first class honours, Emily Jane DeFranca.
Jetmira Delishaj. With first class honours, Zoe Ann Evans. With first class honours, Lydia Florence Victoria Ferry. With first class honours, Sarah Farrar. <laughs> Helen Samir Kazal Finjan. <laughs> Hannah Mary Esther Flood. Heba Gadai. <laughs> With first class honours, Michaela Gardiner. <laughs> With first class honours, Tatiana Lisa Garside Eaton. Francesca Ann Hale. <laughs> Latifa Hajaj Harris. <laughs> Kirsty Mary Hawthornthwaite. Alice Elizabeth Heaviside Reed. With first class honours, Elizabeth May Hill. With first class honours, Courtney Elizabeth Jones. With first class honours, Corinne Akua Kanadu. With first class honours, Bethany Rose Leek. With first class honours, Maddie Luisa Lavera. With first class honours, Amy Holly Antonia Louis Chase. With first class honours, Charlotte Louise Mellish. Dion Louise Meller. With first class honours, Lauren Rebecca Mitchell. With first class honours, Yanka Nixon. Natasha Jade Noel. Gina Pun. With first class honors, Madison Eugenie Purr. Bethany Ramsbottom. <laughs> With 
with first class honours, Sally Jane Rogers. Bobby Tara Simon. With first class honours, Natalie Susan Taylor. With first class honours, Aisha Abdul Qadir Wasame. Georgina Welsh. With first class honours, Danielle Sharon Whitaker. With first class honours, Talisa Marie Wilcox. With first class honours, Geraldine Nifi Williams. With first class honours, Candice Wilson. With first class honours, Lily Samantha Margaret Wooten. Bachelor of Science degree in pre-registration midwifery, shortened. Gloria Maiowa Ayodeji. Iso Midola Araramni Ayula. Jessica Joan French. Aisata Jalo. Bachelor of Science degree in Paramedic Science, Amy Frith. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Physiotherapy, Karen Elizabeth Baker. <clears throat> Amber Rose Curtis. <clears throat> Bachelor of Science degree in Diagnostic Radiography and Imaging, Alwyn Benny. Rika Berda. Lani Amber Hardy. Kara Siobhan Jones. Liddy Dorette Kamdun Kimayu. <laughs> Olubunmi Grace Ogonyinka. <laughs> Kirtley Owen Samuel Palmer. Kival Vias. With first class honors, Maria Sadia Yunus. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Radiotherapy and Oncology, Asaya Dorani.
Bachelor of Science degree in Social Work, Rashida Florashade Adadeji. <laughs> Zainab Arif. <laughs> Paige Hazelwood. Amber Melissa Jolly. <laughs> With first class honors, Paulina Maria Korzak. <laughs> With first class honors, Naomi Rebecca Lydon. Cleona McConnell. <laughs> Wanisha Cassandra Miller. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Applied Social Studies, Ellie Frances Dungan. It's now my pleasure to call upon Tamara Addo to address the assembly on behalf of the graduates. Good evening, Vice Chancellor, lecturers, graduates, family and friends. Today we are finally graduating as midwives and healthcare professionals from the University of Hertfordshire. I would firstly like to say congratulations to each and every graduate here today from Midwifery and the Department of Allied Health Professions and Social Work. Studying at this university has been an amazing experience, one that I would say is character building. We have had the opportunity to learn, grow and achieve here, meet new people and make memories that will last a lifetime. Studying any course at university takes discipline, dedication, time and effort. In my second year, I failed every single assignment because of various things that were going on in my life. During that time, I thought I could never do it, but now I know that without failing, I could never have done it. Failure was the most important part of my journey. It motivated me to come back better, stronger, and wiser. Everything has its time, and this is our time, right here and right now. I'm sure we can all think of many funny moments during our time at the University of Hertfordshire. One that particularly comes to my mind um, is when I was supporting a woman delivering in a pool berth. The midwives in the room will know that it gets very hot in those rooms. Um, I went to listen in to the baby and unfortunately my wig fell off onto the floor. <laughs> anyway, I continue to deliver the baby safely. Um, so the moral of the story is don't wear wigs when you're on a delivery ward. <laughs> I would like to thank our lecturers for pushing us, guiding us, and always believing in us. I'd like to give a huge thank you to our families and our friends for supporting our dreams. Our families have been with us every step of the way on our journeys. The amount of times we felt like giving up, but they didn't let us. I'd, we will forever be grateful for their love and support, and also our course mates. We went through this journey together, and we could not have done it without each other. I can't tell you how many times we've cried together and laughed together during this degree. All these significant people in our lives pulled us through and got us through to where we are today. Since finishing my degree, I've started working full-time at Watford General Hospital, which is also where I trained as a student midwife. It's never too late to follow your dreams and your heart. Stay positive and be kind always. To all graduates here today, you should be so, so proud of yourselves. You're all incredible and I wish each and every one of you the best in your future careers. It's been a pleasure studying at this university. 
My mission in life is to not merely survive, but to thrive, and to do so with some passion, some compassion, some humor, and some style. I want to thank you, Vice Chancellor, for receiving the graduates of the Department of Allied Health Professions, Midwifery and Social Work. Tamara, thank you very much for that. Um, compassion, humour and style, what a fantastic, <laughs> what a fantastic way to go. And, and, and done with compassion, humour and style, well done. Um, if you'll allow me just, well firstly, let me add my congratulations to Tamara's, to all the graduates today. What a fantastic uh, uh, achievement for all of you in, in such marvellous professions. Very, very well done. Please accept my congratulations on your achievement. If you'll give me just a couple of moments, though, to reflect a little bit on what uh, the university here at Hertfordshire is all about. We're fundamentally about transforming lives, and I hope that in one way or another you feel that we've transformed your lives in a positive sense. Uh, I hope we've done that from a professional perspective. You've obviously uh, embraced and learned the, uh, the skills, the knowledge, and the behavior of your particular profession. But I, I hope we've also done it in other ways. I hope that perhaps culturally, in one way or another, we've transformed your lives, perhaps because you've met people from different cultural backgrounds or perhaps because you've engaged with some of the cultural activities here or the sporting activities here at the university. <clears throat> so I hope, I hope that we've transformed your lives in that way. But I also hope that we've done it in a, a, a social context such that you've developed uh, and made wonderful friends here at the university, friends that you'll take with you throughout your lives, uh, but also that you've learned a little bit about uh, social responsibility and so on, so that you can take that back into your communities and into your societies. That idea of transforming lives, we build on, on three pillars here at the university. The first pillar is a pillar of opportunity. I hope we've given you opportunity, and I absolutely know that in the professions which you've chosen, you will give opportunity to other people, some of whom will have very little opportunity, so I, I do commend you for that. The second pillar is flexibility, and uh, uh, of course, <clears throat> whatever we could teach you, whatever you could learn in three years here at the university will very quickly be overtaken by advances, by new technologies, and by new ways of doing things. So you're going to have to be flexible. You're going to have to be flexible to learn throughout your lives. And I hope we've uh, 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 given you the idea of flexibility, and I hope that you can take that with you as you leave us. And the third pillar that we build that idea of transformation on is on community. And we are, of course, a fabulous community here within the University of Hertfordshire. But that community is not just a campus community, nor is it even just a community which embraces our uh, commuting students. But as John said earlier, it's now for you as our alumni, a community which embraces people from more than 100, uh, 190 countries. That is every inhabitable country on the planet. Just think of that. We have people who have graduated from the University of Hertfordshire. What a fantastic community for you to be going into, and I hope you uh, uh, appreciate that and join in with it. Um, I, I should say <clears throat> that, of course, within that community, we want you to embrace what I would call a sort of esprit de corps about the University of Hertfordshire. And you will, of course, recall, many of you still have them, I'm sure, the sweatshirts that we give out um, uh, at uh, uh, recruitment to the university, and these sweatshirts say, go hearts on them. And the idea behind the sweatshirts was that, you know, if you're uh, walking down uh, Camden High Street, or perhaps you're in Kuala Lumpur, or perhaps in Perth in Australia, and you see someone wearing one of these uh, sweatshirts, you've got to go up to them and go, go hearts! <laughs> now, this, this, this will be uh, reasonably safe for the paramedics among you, because of course, if the individual does have some sort of cardiac arrest, uh, uh, you'll be able to resuscitate them. Um, 
but uh, the idea behind it is, of course, that you develop a conversation with them and, uh, uh, of course, uh, spread the word of the University of, of Hertfordshire. But I, I don't really feel I can let you go without practicing this uh, Go Hearts. And I should say that we, today we have five graduation ceremonies. You're the fourth uh, of the graduation ceremonies. Three of them have, been, have, have comprised primarily nursing students. Uh, and we're having a competition. <laughs> now, given that uh, uh, I heard quite a bit of uh, whooping <laughs> from your <laughs> friends and relatives sitting in front of me, I'm confident that this graduation could be the loudest. <laughs> yeah, well done. So what I'm going to do, and we are recording this, by the way, on the count of three, we'll all give it a big go hearts, yeah? And uh, incidentally, I can't see them behind me. <laughs> but I want you to report to me if none of them do it. Okay, so it's on the count of three, go hearts. You all got that? One, two, three, go! go! <laughs> it just keeps getting better. <laughs> Weren't they fantastic? Absolutely. Now, I can't go though without saying, uh, 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 and indeed uh, echoing what Tamara said about those sitting directly in front of me. The, the journey of our graduates has been made so much easier by the support, by the help, perhaps financial, perhaps just uh, in, in all sorts of ways that the people in front of me, I'm sure, have given you. I wonder if you'll join with me and thank them once more for that fabulous help. Now that concludes the formal part of the proceedings. I would though now like to invite you to accompany the academic procession uh, to the de Havilland restaurant where graduates will be able to view the photographs taken as you came across the stage. And also of course, we will have some refreshments available. Could I though first of all ask if you'd be upstanding as the academic procession leaves the auditorium.